Hello ladies and gentlemen, MD Fashion Co. Collectibles here and today I'm going to be discussing whether not playing Gunner in Aliens Fireteam Elite is the equivalent of trying to stand up and boo. What do I mean by that? We gonna get into it. But first, all the intro. He had a dream to play Aliens Fire Team. He collects themes. He's got high self esteem. He's credible. He's unforgettable. He's commendable. He's MD Fashion Co. Collectibles. Okay? I, as y'all boys know, I am a massive advocate of the gunner in Aliens Fire Team Elite. I believe the gun is the best class. I believe if you're not going to run out of ammo, you should be playing three gunners. That's the best class that you can conceivably think of. The only time to not play three gunners is when you need the recon because two, two, three gunners will run out of ammo. A perfect example is when I beat 4-3 insane beautiful butterflies. We definitely used two gunners but the recon was needed because we had to hold these positions because in beautiful butterflies it get difficult for real and in the gameplay we see today i'm playing the recon we had a dock and a demo and i said this is tough this is a tough situation and the reason why i said this is a tough situation is because we didn't have a gunner not having a gunner is the equivalent of standing up to poo or trying to poo standing up when your objective is to poo as efficiently as possible. You don't, you're not. Yeah. I think I'm we're playing that. a, I think yeah. we're playing a suboptimal team comp. We should not be playing a suboptimal position. Like that's just going to make this shit fucked. That's what I think. When you play a suboptimal team comp. I beat comp, every mission in this game with it, with the demolished Sharon insane. I mean, here's the thing too, the demo has We're two stuns, the of the and the gunner has two, but he needs to land his grenade throw. Right. Mm -hmm. so yeah, the gunner only has one stun one, though, yeah. No, the demo has two, the yeah, gunner, gunner has, has one. Has yeah, two, one but gunner he has, has to land. Two. Gunner has two. Gunner has two, he has to land his grenade on the face though. Wait, how does he have two stuns? Overclock doesn't stun. Yeah, no, see, no, you, no. you, you don't know what you're talking about playing. in this game, and you're saying, and you're saying this stuff. How does a grenade stun twice? Why we got a back when I go to do a poo, I sit on the toilet and I lean forward and I poo, you know, when I, cause I feel that's the way I've been doing it my whole life, but also I feel that's the most efficient way to do it. Could I stand up next to the toilet and poo and poo into my hand and then throw it in the toilet? I could, but I've never done that because there's just a much better way to do it. Now, does that mean that I don't play anything but the gunner? Well, most of the time I do play the gunner because I think it's the funnest class, but when we're playing against Pathogen, I like to play Demo, I like to play these other classes. But I, but I don't get it twisted. This is a game, and we're trying to have fun. But when it comes to pro play in Aliens Fireteam Elite, I'm talking the highest level of Aliens Fireteam Elite. Believe that there is only one class that is miles ahead of everything else, and that is the gunner. And y'all could say, oh, he's just cr number crunching because the gunner does the most damage. No, he's also got a nade that, that stuns twice. The gunner is far better than any other, cl any other class in the game. And I was talking to a boy in the Discord, join the Discord down below, we talk about this a lot and other pro play in Aliens Fireteam Elite, do the Discord down below. We were talking about how, well, the Phalanx is good on the synth level, does it mean it's better than the Gunner? No, that's a very fringe situation, and even in that situation I would prefer a Gunner to a Phalanx, but... You, you can play Phalanx, right, against that, and it's in that fringe situation, it's good. But for 99% of the, of the entire game, the gunner is better than everything else. Now, also, Sunny, pro player Sunny, said, 
Well, I think if you want to reliably beat Insane, you should play a Tech Doc Recon. Why? Tech Doc Recon is the safest. But I said, well, so you want to beat Insane where you don't have to shoot? If you want to beat Insane where you don't have to shoot, right, or you, or you don't have to aim that well, then sure, play it with three demos. With three smart cards or two demos and a recon. You can beat Insane Campaign. But let me bring this up again so y'all boys can remember this. Remember this pyramid I made of the easiest content in Aliens Fireteam Elite to the hardest. Sunny and boys who say I can beat Insane using this team comp, right? They're talking about the second hardest thing in the game based on this, based on this, um, pyramid. And in addition to that, I must go back to the trying to stand up doing a poo. Just because you can beat something does not mean there is a far more efficient way to do it. And that far more efficient way is, of course, to play three gunner. That is obviously far more efficient than playing another class. And also, in addition to that, while I keep this, this, uh, thing up here, when you go to extreme point defense or insane point defense, you have to have a gunner. It don't, it don't even become a question. A lot of these boys who talk don't, have they beat extreme point defense and insane point defense? I know Sonny has, but he has to admit we cannot beat, or it's much, much harder to beat insane and extreme point defense when you do not have a gunner because the gunner is by far the best class in the game by far. And this is a well-designed game. And there are different classes that fill different roles. And, and I love it all. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. The gunner is still the best class in the game. And if you can play the gunner, you should play the gunner. If your objective is to win. Now, let's talk about another game that I love. A very, very well-made game called Killing Floor 2. In that game... There is a real reason to pick classes that aren't... Uh, there is a real reason to pick classes that aren't just the best class in the game. We need a medic in that game. But granted, they have six players. You know, we need a medic. It would be helpful if we had a support in Killing Floor 2. All these, all these classes actually fill a role. But that's a genius, that's a genius level made game. And, and what an amazing game. Aliens Fireteam Elite, I dare say. We've, we've solved it, and it's Gunner Gunner Recon, or three Gunners, for a vast, vast majority. And then when you get, so for, for to, which is the most effective to beat Insane Campaign Missions, but then when we get to Insane Horde, right, we use two Gunners and a Dock. Even though I use two Technicians and a Dock to beat Insane uh, Horde mode. I do acknowledge that if I had two gunners, probably would have been easier. So let me know in the comments what y'all boys think about whether or not the gunner, play, not playing the gunner, is equivalent to standing up, taking a poo. It's needlessly difficult, right? And, you're, and there's no reason to do it if your objective is to win. If your objective is to win. If your objective is to have fun right? Then I understand. Not playing the gunner makes total, total sense. Maybe standing up doing a poo isn't a good analogy in that sense, because I don't think that would be very fun, but I'm sure some people might find it fun. But when, what I, I'm the kind of person that I like to be the best I can in my life. Like to try, it makes me feel a lot better when I'm the best I possibly can be. And that's why I'm constantly looking at the, for the best, you know, the best build, the best, and, and I don't, it doesn't mean that, that I can't like anything else, because I do like playing other things, but when it comes to competitiveness, when it comes to beating the difficult, difficult stuff, which is what I like to do, I like to beat the difficult, difficult stuff, when it comes to that, I, I like to play the best, so I can, you know, challenge myself and, and overcome the difficult challenge. This is what I, what I like, right? I like to overcome difficult challenges. I find it more satisfying when I overcome difficult challenges. Just like Ripley. 
I'm sure she felt pretty satisfied at the end of Aliens, overcoming that difficult challenge. She overcame her own fear. And that's why I love Aliens so much. Well, one of the reasons I love it so much is because of that. That's why I stay playing the pump shotgun. And it's just a blessing. Like, I see it as a blessing that, that we can play the best gun in the game. And it's cool. I mean, come on. What more do you want? You want the pulse rifle to be the best gun in the game. I hear you say. Well, fair enough. I don't blame you. The Kramer's pretty cool, though, too. So, I'm going to leave, leave it with this. Join the Discord and Steam group below if you want to talk more about pooing standing up. And the gunner. And Aliens Fireteam Elite Pro Play. And the fact that I just friendly fired Honica. Pro Play and Aliens Fireteam Elite. What do you think? Why wouldn't you play the gunner? It's the funnest class in my opinion. But well, I find beating difficult challenges fun. So what's going on with that? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna let this gameplay run through because we have some funny banter in this gameplay where I'm saying the boy's trying to hold the ship at the end saying, oh, it's easy, oh, it's easy. And I'm saying, no, we don't have a gunner. Let's not hold the ship at the end. Because that's going to be a, a bit stupid. We're going to get effed. Let's see ha what happens in this insane gameplay, boys. Pro play only. Aliens Fire Team Elite. Discussion time. Let me know in the comments what y'all boys think. Goodbye. Only be a couple, right? Yeah. What I'm stuck. Right? Station ready. Clear. Shore party, this is your pickup. Beginning dropship approach to the refinery. Behind us. Yes, good call. <laughs> Fucking hate this. Another swarm rolling on your position. <laughs> you boys just hold the middle. Oh. Uh. oh, you want to hold the middle? Oh, no, we can't. Uh. Uh, not the middle, uh. here. Oh, especially... It's the part after this that's aggravating, trying to find those stupid... Yeah...
I'm so spitter. I'm um, spitter's left. Yeah, right? Q in, Q in, Q in. Okay. There we go. Nice. Another spitter. E that way. There we go. Now, one of you run, I'll stay here, I'll stay here. Um, someone else go all the way on the other side, and then just trigger it as soon as it starts. Does it make sense? So, Buddha, you go to the- go in that corner. Fuck, dude. Hold on, I have problems. Yes. I have big problems. Okay, how about you stay here, and I'll go ahead, then. Okay. You say yeah. More heads locked down. There's more working Joes though. This. Alright, you get that one. I'll get this one. Go, 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 go. No cipher okay. present. No. Okay, hey, I'll get this one. Buddha, I'll cover you. You get it. Got two already. Nice. Alright, get over here, Super J. Alright. Get over here. Quick, 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 quick. I'm trying. Alright, you get on the door. door. Yeah. Good job. Hudson, run a bypass. Hudson. <laughs> Fucking get out of my way, Hanukkah. Just shot Hanukkah in the back. That's cute. He's down. We have to get him. We have to get him. Oh my god. Took so much damage raising him. Fuck. Shore party, we are down in Hangar Epsilon. Standing by for pickup. Home Where the hell is he at? Team. Oh, he's. So, we're safe. What? Oh. Somebody take the gear. Yeah, we can't hold the ship here. We are tempting suicide. By... By holding the ship. Passage secured. There's a prowler somewhere. Wayland Yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive, then eggs back down for experiments. I have no link to Pridefly. I can't run the launch sequence by remote. The dog should be healing Ponica, right? Because he gets more health, right? Only if he has um, bedside manner. Yeah. We have to uh, hold. Are, are we in agreement? We'll hold the stairs. 
Uh, let's see. Yes. Let's, uh, stairs would be preferable. Stairs, yes. I don't think we are capable. I have done it on other ship many times though. So. I know you have, but you, you, you. I have more fails on the stairs. <laughs> Dude, remember last time we failed on intense mode on the stairs? Yes, I remember. That was due to... due to... Miscommunication. No. Miscommunication. No, I want to help. <laughs> that was hilarious. No, it was due to Hanukkah dying. That was... that's all it was. Right on get to the back. Yeah, it's back here. Hey, Hanukkah. Support station, you ready? That's a lot of bursters. Hanukkah, you gotta back up, man. Dude, we can't even tell who he's falling right now. No, we can't. Yeah. Because he's... I think he's on... He's on... Oh, 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 leave him there. Yeah. Nobody move. Nobody move. Nobody move. Hold on, he's just ammo. My cryo went out. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put it back. No, only on post the cryo. We only need the cryo when the big one. Yeah. It'll be fine. There's nobody moved because Honic is out of the way. We should be able to deal with everything. Right, um, Tiny Buddha, you go running because you're a dog. Obviously. And I'll just stay here dropping ammo. Wait, wait. Wow, that was, uh... Yes. Vile. Finish those little stragglers that got stuck. He's following you. Monica? Yep, Chad, he's, he's on you. Oh, oh, oh he's goodness. downstairs. It's good. Get him back up here. Yep. If you come all the way back up, he'll follow over. Right. I'll go get it. No, honey, he's on you. So you go get it. You get it, tiny Buddha. Go. Yeah, there we go. Come on, honey. Okay. 
Oh, you stupid ass. Oh, okay. Get back. My god, I can't use... He's too close, I can't use my weapon. Of course, don't use your weapon anyway. There well, we I was gonna try and kill the little guys before use they it. came up the staircase. Let, let him die and I'll pick him up right away. Okay. Nah, let's kill the warrior. For the little guy. Just kill the warrior. Now, when you go to run to the last one, Doc, you need your combat sims to get back, right? Yep. You know what to do. That's the last combat sims. And then you gotta use it. We need to do a lot more damage to this warrior, boys. Yeah, that's like Get him up, Doc. Get him up, Doc. Get him up, Doc. Did you put on again? Still think we could hold the ship? Killed him twice. Oh yeah, yeah. As long as the dock is on, must picks him up, right? No, that's the PS play. Like if you, if, if you have two guys that can put up the DPS. No, up. yeah, we have one guy that can do the DPS, and he's playing a support class. Well, your recon can do a ton of damage too, right? Don't be silly, boy. Some more animations recently. Like, there's a lot of spitters down there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I think I will we can. Because if he takes out Hanukkah, it's over. You guys trying to pick him up with spitters on you? No, what we're gonna do is you're gonna run to the thing, then use your E, and then we're gonna run all the way back. While you trigger the last thing, I'm going to heal Honecker with my health pack, and then we're just going to run. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. These spitters are, like, stuck. Honestly, actually, let's try this. Let's just go. Let's just go back to here. Look at this. Get back here. That's a lot of spitters. That is a lot of... Oh, my God, dude. Here, I'll, I'll stun him. Good thing those speeders missed, damn. I know. It's a lot of spitters. There's like four of them. Oh god, the Honic is getting fucked. Super J, can you heal Honica? Yeah. Super J, heal Honica. Okay. Another spitter, holy crap. Stun the spitter, stun the spitter. Sure, party. I need you up in pride flight. Come Ready? on, Honaker. Nah, if Honaker doesn't Honaker. have to get there, he doesn't have to get there. We just need to get oh. there. Oh, okay. He needs to be up, though. Yeah, I know, but he'll easily be up. We could hold here, actually. Oh, I guess he doesn't have to be up. up my burn. He just has to be alive. I literally yeah. friendly fired Honaker at the end. <laughs> and then ran. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, you, you friendly fired him at the end? As if to drive my point home more, I was the recon and I did the most damage. I was the recon in this game and I did the most damage. Okay, the demo and the dock is not doing any damage. This is drive my point home. If I was the gunner, I would have done so much more damage, obviously. But hey, damage dealt I think is the most important stat. But anyway. Oh, y'all turn up right now. If you join the Patreon for $2.50 a month.
You get a shout out on the videos And get to go To the Discord channel with the pros Boys can't comment in or can't chat in Unless they part of the Patreon thing So look down below for the link And tell me what you think Boy